What's going on guys? It's your boy Chaos bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be bringing something to, to you guys that I think everybody needs. It's a red zone play. Uh, pretty much inside the 5, maybe inside like the 4. Um, it's a really, really, really good 2 point play. And the great, like the best thing about it is it's like a universal thing. You can use it in almost every, almost every formation. And, um, and pretty much any playbook will have something that will be, it'll be good out of. So I would say actually every playbook because you can do it out of, um, single back ace and pretty much every single book has that. Um, and it, it's just, it's all hot routes. So it doesn't even matter what the play is. So I'm gonna do it out of tight slots. The only requirement is, is you have two guys that are similar, like kind of inside next to your tackles essentially. So like tight slots is good. Any tight formation will work. Um, Trip side ends okay, because the guy on the, the inside receiver is close enough, and then you have the tight end. Uh, single back ace is really, really good, and you have the two tight ends. Um, but you can do motion and stuff, and I'll show you guys what I like to do. So uh, first, I'll show you the concept out of single back tight slots, and I'll just show you guys against every single different coverage. So first, we'll come out and cover three, and it's, it's real simple. I'm going to have Sanu here just... I would have Julio here if it was a real game. Uh, he's a better spec catch guy. You want your two best spec guys inside. So right now I have Hooper and Sanu. Um, and then I'm dragging the other two guys, which is two curls and two drags. That's it. And just watch the spot that these guys get to. And honestly, the drag pushed in Hooper a little bit, but they were both still there. You can see the deep third doesn't cover either of them. So I'll show you guys one more time. You can see, cover three. and you can throw Hooper. So they both get to a perfect spot, both touchdowns. Now I'll show you guys against cover two. Same thing, two curls, two drags. I'm not gonna lie, I stole this from Joel. You can see that, I don't even have to show you guys again, that's wide open against cover two. I'll middle linebacker of the deep blue just to show it again, but I stole this from Joel. Joel's been doing this for a couple years now. Okay, you can see him in a linebacker in the deep blue there. Two curls, two drags. And it's still going to be naked. He can't pick. He, he doesn't know which one to pick. He just stands there and covers neither of them. I'll show you guys in the replay really quick what he did. I'm not trying to make this video too long because it's a real simple concept. But you guys can hear that helicopter. I'm sorry about that, boys. It's not my fault. I live in the city. But you can see he just stands in the middle. He doesn't know which one to pick. So you can throw either one. He kind of chooses late. But, like, if that's a good spec catch guy, you're going to catch that every time. Moss, Julio, Gronk, etc. So now I'm going to show you guys cover four. Cover four does the best, but it still doesn't really stop it. And that's when you're, this is where, cover four is where your spec catch guys come into. I'd say cover three is the most commonly called defense down at the goal line, but um, you can see cover four. You're going to see the guys, the safety is, the, they're going to, like, take, like, three steps in, and you're going to have the curls. So I'll show you. You see that? They like step away from him and he caught that right there it's weird i don't know why they do i cannot explain it whatsoever but let me show you on the replay what they do so it looks the most guarded here right obviously it's cover four but watch what this watch what he does he steps out and they did it on the other side too they step out i can't tell you why i have no reason why but just look at the curls they just sit there perfectly so that's like that's their best chance of getting to stop is to play cover four, um, or obviously manning them up will will do okay. But if you have Moss like against like a smaller guy, he'll go up and get it for you anyways. So I'll just show you guys one more time. Oh, I forgot to audible. We're in cover three. It works every time, guys. It's really really good. Um, quickly audible to cover four here. This is the the cover four is the only way it's really a jump ball. Otherwise, it's it's going to be a catch every single time. Guys kind of got stuck there, but you can see, touchdown. So this is a really great concept. Now I'm going to show you guys how it can go to different formations where you can use motion, etc. So a perfect one is gun, gun A slot offset, right? I have the two tight ends on the line. And then we can use motion. So just come on stick, doesn't matter. Now, so block the running back. Now we're just going to curl Hooper and Paulson. Drag Sanu, drag Julio, and you essentially get the same look. The two drags with the two curls. Drags are just a little bit farther outside, but it's still get naked. It's the same thing. I don't got to show you guys all the plays again. 
you can trust me that it works try it yourself but as long as you have two guys inside like that on curls and you can drag double drag outside it's gonna be money every time they have to man up your players and uh, there's not much else they can do even when they're manned up if you have a great player there, they'll make the play so I hope you guys enjoy uh, if you did like comment and subscribe and take it easy peace